1970 Hemi Cuda by Ravel Monogram. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again model car fans and welcome back to another great unboxing video where we get to look at an old classic and an old friend of ours, the Ravel Monogram 1971 Hemi Cuda. This model kit is again on loan from James. It actually has not been opened, as you can see the glare in here. It's a great model kit and I'm sure you're gonna love this video, but before we get into it, if you love model car unboxing videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, subscribe, and share it with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first one to see it. And if you love model cars and wanna own some, well, I do own Monster Hobbies, so it's very easy to check out what we do have available at www.monster-hobbies.ca and sign up for our newsletter. That's an awesome idea because if you do, I can send you out some flyers and whatnot and you can get special discount coupon codes to use so that you get a good savings on these great kits. And now without further ado, fans, let's go down and see what's in the box. Now we wind the clock all the way back to 1971 as we check out our 71 Hemi Cuda, the best of the best. So here it is in all its purple glory. <laughs> and I've actually built one of these. I'll show it to you at the end of the video. You're gonna think it's real groovy. Anyway, if we flip this up on the side, we get this nice panel describing everything that's in there. Now this model is loaned to us from James and it doesn't even have the shrink wrap off yet. There's our paint guide. If we flip it over on the side, we can see our car again. But on this side is where everything is cool because it shows us it's a skill level 2 kit for ages 10 and up, paint and glue required. But look at the built up model. Isn't that cool? The big shaker hood scoop and everything on there. Really amazing work. So let's turn this around. Let's get out my hobby knife here with the number 11 blade, which is the point. That's the point of it. Ha ha! Oh, okay. Let's get the skinny on this kit as we chop open the plastic here. All right, rock on. Now, I had some trouble with one of these in the past here on my reviews. It doesn't just want to come off nice. This is a big tall box. Come on. There. <laughs> All right, so removing the lid, we have white plastic. Now my kit that I had was actually molded in purple. So this is a lot better, it allows you more color options and choices. So all the white plastic is in the one bag. And then here we have our tires. Now these are the old Goodyear GT radials. So these kit tires are not accurate to the actual vintage of this kit, which the real tires would probably be Goodyear polyglasses or Firestones, something like that. There's our chrome components. And here we have our glass, which is just loose in the box, which unfortunately for James here, there's a scratch on that glass. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, there's our decal sheet, and we'll take a look at that in the end. I don't want to ruin anything. Although if you look on the box top, you'll probably see it okay. And then there we have our instructions. So I'll just clear this out of the way, and we'll take a look at our Hemi instructions. Has this ever happened to you? Oh, hey honey, I just came back from the hobby shop. You wouldn't believe what they had. They had this van here that's just exactly the same as how my dad's van was, but it's a Coca-Cola one and I want to build it and man, I can't wait to see what this looks like. And then you went downstairs to your workbench. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh. Man, this is the worst thing I ever got. Or maybe it went like this. Oh man, this is the best model kit I ever could have got. If you're looking for great model car unboxing review videos, don't forget to subscribe to us over at the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage found on YouTube. And I'll leave the link in the description below.
Now originally this 71 Hemi Cuda was a monogram kit, but then of course Ravel Monogram joined forces, and now it's a Ravel Monogram. And here is a write-up which I'm going to put in the description down below. And let's just zoom back a little bit on our instructions because this is the big fold-out, just like Mad Magazine. There's our paint chart here, flat black, silver, amber, red, gloss black, white, metallic, and green, and orange. So here we have the start of it all. So I'll just zoom in so we can get a little closer. So we've got steps one and two. We have our wheels here. And now there's a lot of um, these type of wheels in our upcoming reviews. So just so you know, it says to paint in here silver. And then in the little divots, those are all flat black. So we have our outer wheel, our tire, and the inner wheel. And y yeah, that's that going together real quick. As for our engine, we have a right and left hand side engine block with the transmission. And then we have our cylinder heads as well as our valve covers going on over the top. Step number three is showing us more of our engine going together with our front engine cover, our alternator, our belts, and our fan. Can you dig it? All right, as we slide this panel across, we get to see the rest of the motor. There's our front assembly gluing onto the front of the engine block, and then our intake manifold pops in the top with our two carburetors as well as our distributor and our exhaust hitters left and right going into the engine to complete the, that part of it. Panel 4 shows our engine going together onto the chassis and then it's got the upside down view so you can see how it all lines up. Step 5 is showing our wheels snapping on to our front K member with the torsion bars in the back and you got to remove the little bits there. Now, one thing about this is these pins might have seam lines on them, so you want this area to be perfect before you pop the wheel on, because it's got a mushroom head on here, and once you pop the wheel in, there's no way to get it off. So if you have a seam line in there, it will jam the wheel in place, and you won't be able to rotate the tire. Then here is our K-frame gluing on to the subframe on our chassis. Step 6 is showing the rear axle, again with the wheels going on. And, uh, and remember, again, your seam lines to get rid of them. So you got your differential, your springs, and your drive shaft all as one unit. And that glues onto the subframe in the back here. Actually, it's not a subframe, it's a chassis in the back. Panel 7 is showing our glass going into place. You have to cut the little headlights out of the center and then drop your rear view mirror into place. And along here, they're showing the paint for, of course, all your... Uh, chrome trim and your turn signals and all the rest. Now here in panel 8 we have the body and our radiator and shroud and radiator all glued together. Now remember to paint the front edge of that radiator or the front face of the radiator shroud flat black because that's how it would be in the real car and the inner fender wells and everything else would be painted body color. Now as we slip this across into panel 9 we get to see our dashboard with the steering column is molded in place. There are these little filler pieces that go in on the dashboard and our steering wheel pops into place. And on the radio, we can listen to Won't Be Fooled Again. <laughs> yeah! All right. So there's our dashboard gluing into our bucket here with, of course, our shifter. And then if we move across again, we get to see our bucket seats front and back gluing together and then dropping into our interior tub, which of course will finish it off. Now our interior pops in here to be as snug as a bug in a rug. And then here you've got to drill out these little holes for our spoiler to go on. And then in steps 13, 14, and 15, as space allows. We've got our taillights popping in from the back here on our panel and then more snug in a bug in a rug as our chassis pops into our body here and finally we have our rear bumper gluing on sort of you got to swing this in around a little bit and then our license plate will go into there. Now we can get a few panels in here. There is the rear pan 
being glued up underneath on the back of the body. And then we've got our front grill with our headlight bezels going in and then our headlights and these just push in. Remember it's that waffle pattern so make sure it's horizontal and vertical and not at any weird angles. Our driving lights pop into the bottom there and this is how you paint them. So it would be white underneath I guess and then the chrome Chrysler uh, you know triangle in there. Plymouth then we've got our side marker lights, which you glue on there, and our vents, and then you can glue in your front grill. You have my permission. <laughs> There's our front bumper going on with these little driving lights and our license plate. Then the upper radiator hose going in through the engine and up into our radiator, as well as painting your cap and your battery and all that. The master cylinder glues into place. And then steps 21, we've got our louvered window uh, covers going on here, as well as our spoiler into the trunk lid, our right and left hand side mirrors going on, more painting on the water bottle there, and then our shaker hood scoop will all uh, glue together and go on top of our two carburetors. And then you pop in the hood by just gently squeezing those in and dropping them into the slots. And then that is your Hemi Cuda. And that completes our look at our 71 Hemi Cuda instruction sheet from Ravel Monogram. Now let's dig on those nice white plastic pieces. Back in July 2013, High River experienced a massive flood. Although many things were damaged and destroyed in the High River flood, we were able to save some of our products. Wait until you see what I have inside the Studebaker. In this video, we will restore one of them as best we can. I'm just gonna open up the door here. These all got hit in the High River flood. And I managed to rescue as many as I could. Oh wow, is this car ever dirty? Now there's only one solution to fixing those car wheels and that of course is repaint. Wow, that car looks so much better now. And here's our 1971 Hemi Cuda body looking very nice as Ravel can make it. Or monogram, I guess, can make it. So here we've got our sides. You got the door handles and your turn signal lenses in there. You've got the little Barracuda uh, fins in here, or gills, gills, I guess. And then some rocker panel molding, which of course you can do with your bare metal foil. Same with around the windows and all that. Mold into there. Uh, windshield. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so here's a firewall and the inner fender aprons as well as the battery with all the cables and everything molded in place. The front of the car looks quite nice. Basically not too much going on. Back panel of course has CUDA in there. If you turn it upside down you'll notice some mold marks under but they've got nice little pins for locating all the window glass and everything else. So again very nice old friend from Monogram. Alright so here's our first white parts tree and baby, it's a wild world when you take a look at this great engine block sitting here with a transmission, starter motor, frost plugs, and oil pan. Now this is all molded as like two separate pieces. So when you glue it together, you might have to uh, fill in a little bit along the seam line, or at least sand it down nice. There's our dashboard there, again for cruising and racing. <laughs> our back panel our interior tub, there's our cylinder heads and that front grill, looking every bit as good as front grill should. Turning this up, you can see of course sort of soft detail on the side panels, but that's sort of customary for a tub. And then our rear seats here and carpet texture. So again very nicely done, very simplistic, much of the old way that uh, that Monogram designed this kit back in, I do believe, the late 80s. 
Next up we have the three parts trees that finishes off our white plastic components. So here we have our suspension pieces and part of the engine, our seats and interior bits as well as the side mirrors, our wheel backs, uh, the filler pieces for under the dashboard, radiator, and our chassis, and then our hood, our shaker scoop, the louvers, and the spoiler. So let's take a look at these a little bit closer. A little bit closer now. Okay, and there we have our underpan detail, as well as the rad support and radiator shroud, fan shroud. <laughs> I'm making up words here. There's our seats. Look at the nice detail on them. Very, very nice. And again, like I said, I built this before and it does go together well. The only kind of hiccup here is our exhaust molded into the chassis, which is always a trick to paint. But they do come out quite nice on this side. Not too bad on the mold marks. I think it's passable. You won't have any trouble uh, with your interior bucket going all funny or anything. Not fitting properly. There's our rear axle as a one piece, which is good for beginning modelers or early skill level two type builders. There's our front suspension in there, our fan with the clutch, intake manifold, our front uh, timing chain cover, and our exhaust manifolds. And then we've got our hood with the shaker scoop and the big hole in it. Again, nicely done. Some mold marks under there you're going to have to flesh out with your knife, clean them up. But overall, really good work from Monogram and perfect again for that beginning model builder. Next up we've got my favorite parts of all time and that of course is the chrome. And here we have our valve covers in chrome and then our wheels and our uh, rear bumper and front bumper, as well as the uh, taillight bezels, or the he headlights, I think. Yeah. And there's our uh, two super huge carburetors, our rear view mirror, our glass for our side mirrors, shifter lever, and there's our alternator, as well as our rear tail lamps. So these, of course, you're going to have to paint with your transparent reds and whatnot, but they do fit in really nicely. Of course, there's our detail on the wheels. Very nice, a little bit maybe soft compared to some other kits. There's some old marks under here, which of course you're going to need to remove. But overall, again, nice chrome and should fit together really well with the model. Now ordinarily I don't show these two pieces together, but there's not much plastic left in this kit. <sighs> now ordinarily I don't show these two pieces together in the review, but there's not much left to this kit, so might as well. So here we have our front windshield and our rear glass, and they're connected by these little clear plastic ribbons, which of course you could always cut off and glue this all in separately. There are locator pins for it, so it's not such a big deal. And there's our little headlights here as well. And then over on our tires, like I said before, these are sort of the wrong tires for this kit. These are Goodyear GT radials, which would have come out in the 80s. However, the real tires on here would have been Goodyear Polyglass GTs, which are bias belted tires. However, these tires are still very nice. As you can see, they've got the raised lettering on them and a nice tread pattern. You're going to have to cut this off and spin it in your drill press with your wheel spinner. Hold a block of sandpaper up along the tread just to get rid of the seam line up in the middle and to give your tire a little bit of a sanded appearance. Overall, both these parts are really well done. And last but not least, here's our decal sheet with the Hemi stripe along the side this, of course, is just for the back part of the car. There are the door latch handle cutouts here, as well as Plymouth lettering and North Dakota Dr. Hemi license plates. So, very nicely done. And here you can see copyright monogram. It doesn't say Ravel monogram. So, again, that's part of that heritage of this great kit. And here we've got our 1971 monogram Plymouth Hemi Cuda. 
and this was one I built. So you can see how nicely this goes together. Again, being a monogram kit, pops together pretty tight. Looks all right. I used bare metal foil on here. I thought the uh, yellow and red license plates would kind of pick it up a bit from the dark purple color. And of course you can see that nice black hemi stripe along the side rear quarters there. And overall, this model kit looks fantastic. Painted aluminum in the front there just to get it all right. And that completes our look at the Revell Monogram 1971 Hemi Cuda. How did you enjoy my build? Did you think I got it okay? Uh, we'd like to see your builds over on our Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you've built this kit in the past, how did you like it? How did you paint yours? And how did you find it went together? And how does it look on your shelf? Let us know down in the comments section below. Oh, and hey, before we go, see here it says Goodyear Polyglass GTs. And thank you once again for watching this great model car unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed my little build-up of the kit. And as well as that, if you love these great videos and want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you are the first to know it. So for the next couple of videos, we are going to have some Hemikuda magic and fun. So I hope to see you next week. And if you love model cars and want to buy some of the ones you see on here, well, I don't have everything for sale, and this one's James, so I can't uh, sell it, you know, of course, get in trouble there. But I do have a great selection at www.monster-hobbies.ca, and if you sign up on our newsletter on that website, you can get some great promo discount codes and be aware of everything that happens, like Christmas sales and whatnot. And uh, yeah, all you have to do is sign up, and it's that simple. <laughs> what else can I say? So until next time, everybody, Keep the rubber on the road.